Hallo Leute und willkommen zu Air Pressure. Luftdruck. Seltsames Wort. Oder seltsamer Spielname. Ich habe das erste Mal, als ich das Ganze gespielt habe, nicht wirklich verstanden, was passiert ist. Ähm, und ich denke mal, ich werde das Ganze auch erst am Ende des Spiels erklären. Es wäre für euch ganz cool, wenn ihr es wüsstet, oder beziehungsweise würde es für euch nochmal einen anderen Blick geben, aber ich denke auch nicht, dass ich alles zeigen kann. Aber wir werden uns trotzdem an dem Erfolg versuchen, und zwar alle drei Endings zu zeigen. Okay. Ähm, ja. Start Game. Na toll. Übersetze ich das auf Englisch? Nein. Ich übersetze es nicht. Das wäre echt anstrengend. Auch wenn das Spiel nicht so lang ist. I met her when I was a teenager. From the second we met, she wrapped herself around my left arm and has stuck there ever since. Das ist so lustig, weil ich weiß, worum es geht. Ah oh man, ich werde es euch am Ende erklären und ihr werdet euch auch denken, wow. Ah. It's several years later now. She's still here with me. And there's the lay. How's it going? I'm not sure how I feel about her being around anymore. Fine. That's good. Hey, do you know what day it is? It's the anniversary, anniversary of the day we met. Of course it is. So do you want to do anything? Huh? How about... Okay, we nehmen als erstes immer das oberste. Let's just stay here. You sure? That's a little boring. Really, this anniversary doesn't mean that much to me. It's just another day. Excuse me? I mean... I'm sorry, I forgot it was coming up. Ha, huh, don't worry. Memory is strange. The state always seems to fall out of my mind. But I remember other things about that day, like the song which was playing when we met. It makes me feel a little nostalgic. Are you sure you're alright? Oh yeah, I was just thinking. About the day we met. Oh, really? Yes, I was thinking how much has changed since we met. Ha! <laughs> I hope it's good change. Actually, thinking back to how I was before we met, I realized I was much happier then. Is staying here with her really such a good idea? Yes, my life is different than I could have ever imagined. But now, I'm so uh, comfortable with her, that I can't imagine anything else. Maybe life was better before. But I can't say that life after her would be any better than it is right now. Perhaps if we work together, we can make our lives better. A couple of hours passed. I started to get this nagging feeling. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering. Funktioniert das nicht? Ah doch, Enter geht. Why are you here? Because you wanted to stay home with me? That's not what I mean. Why do you stay with me? How simple. You need me, don't you? As long as you do, I'm happy to be with you. Do I need her? I suppose I must do, but... What makes you say that? You think you don't need me? Ah, that's not what I meant. Hey, I do need you, alright? Really? Yeah. Yes, I can't imagine life without you. Where did that come from? I surprised myself a bit. It is true though, I rely on her whenever I get into trouble. I wonder if that's a good thing or not. 
It was the day after our anniversary. I was feeling some sort of nervous excitement. It was hard to stop my hands shaking. Hmm? Uh, thinking about us. I was just thinking about us. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cute. Huh? Am I seeing things? For a second there it looked like... Get closer. It's nothing, I'm sure. Well, I've been thinking that we should... This again. I think we need to be close. Uh, I think we need to be closer. There's so much more I want to know about you. Really? You mean it? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. I knew it. That I couldn't get by without her. Without her, it's like something important is missing from me. That night we were closer than we'd ever been. <laughs> I felt relieved now that I had finally done it. I know I made the right decision. Und die Krankenschwester sagt zu uns: Diesmal hattest du Glück. Hm? Du hast keine Nerven oder Arterien getroffen. As if I would be that stupid. Uh, when can I go home? You have to wait to see the doctor in the morning, and we'll see then. Right. Do you feel better now? Yes. So why did you do it? Of course. It was no problem to talk my way out of the hospital. It was easy, because I honestly never felt so good. I felt complete. I should never have doubted that I needed her. At the end of the day, my flaws are as defining as my good qualities. I need her to carry on being myself, to sustain my personality. I need her to be happy. And eines der möglichen Endings. Du warst jetzt wahrscheinlich Ende Nummer 1? Genau. Start game. Und weiter geht's. I met her when I was a teenager. Huch. Das nimmt die Rückseite Tab, äh, uh, Leertaste. From the second we met, she wrapped herself around my left arm and was stuck there ever since. Sie schlung sich um meinen linken Arm. It's several years later now. She's still here with me. Sie ist immer noch bei mir. How's it going? I'm not sure how I feel about her being around me. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich mich fühlen soll mit ihr um mich drumherum. Fine. That's good. Hey, do you know what day it is? It's the anniversary of the day we met. Of course it is. So, do you want to do anything? How about... Going out? I think I'm just going to go for a walk. Oh, okay. I thought I would head out into the town for a while. It was busy. People everywhere. I wanted to get lost amongst the crowd for a while. Maybe even feel like a normal person for a bit. But then I hear someone. Carry on. I don't stop walking. Hi, are you ignoring me? You are, aren't you? Uh. Hey! I want to be alone, I'm sorry. Right, whatever. What are you doing here anyway? Stupidly, I thought you needed me. Clearly, I'm wrong. Ugh. What an idiot I am. She walked away in a huff. And I'm the idiot because I followed her. I walked beside her. Well, a little behind her too. She's cried, probably annoyed with me. Ah, 
Are you going to say anything? I can't think of anything. Huh. I'm tired. I don't want to help you anymore. You rely on me too much. I don't care. Oh, really? So you would be fine if I stopped helping you completely? You wouldn't. Huh. You think you can get by without me to back you up? Well... Yes. Yes, well, I would like to try. Huh. And come running to me when you fail. Not if you're not going to help. Don't be like that. You know I'll always help you. You know I'll always help you. No matter how bad things seem. We argued a little more on the way home. I think I'm realizing that I don't want her around. She can threaten me with leaving, but I think she's more scared of it than I am. We need to talk. That's never good. Can't we just carry on as always? It's alright, isn't it? Oh, jetzt steht no oben da. Ich nehme immer unten. Maybe. Good. What's upset you anyway? Uh, do I have to tell her? Well... Geh ich jetzt falsch, wenn ich immer unten gehe? Forget it. No, you can't just tell me to ignore you. Seriously, it's nothing. Hmm. I know it's nothing, but if you don't want to talk about it, there's pretty much nothing I can do. I wish you would let me help you. I wish I could let her help. I wish I didn't want to help her help too. I wish I had never met her because now I was stuck with her. I think I made the right decision. I think we can stay like this forever. Maybe we won't be happy, but I know we won't be sad. When it comes down to it, I'm too scared to be with her or without her. I can be satisfied with a comfortable life. I don't need any answers or solutions. I think we can stay like this forever. Ah, okay. Gut, dann weiß ich, was für Ending 3 zu tun ist. Ich war mir nämlich erst unsicher. Dann haben wir jetzt Ending Nummer 2. Okay. Wieder groß machen. Einmal klicken, damit das Bild darauf fokussiert ist. Gut. Erste Entscheidung. Was werden wir tun? Wir gehen mal wieder raus. Ähm, das ist jetzt der letzte Weg, den ich euch zeigen werde. Natürlich gibt es mehr Möglichkeiten. Das heißt, das ist etwas, was ihr auch spielen könnt. Ihr könnt die übrigen Möglichkeiten anschauen, wenn ihr das wissen wollt. Und ja, ich werde jetzt noch versuchen, äh, naja, wir müssen mal sehen, was hier passiert. Hey, hey, wait. Oh, hi. What is she doing here? Sorry, I thought you might like the company. Hm. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Actually, I wanted to do some stuff alone. Oh, I see. Huh? Buying me something, hm? That's fine, I'll get out of your hair. No, really, I just wanted to be alone. I walked around for a couple of hours. I don't know if I was lonely or tired, but the bustle of the people started to make my head swim. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. I decided to take a break and find somewhere to sit. In park, where sie dann auch ist. Na klar. I was glad for the time alone. Sometime when I didn't feel her immediate presence. I've been walking around the park for a few minutes, starting to feel a little aimless. I should sit down. I sit down on the grass and start people watching. Watching everyone milling around in pairs and groups, I started to feel really disconnected from it all. I tried to relax a bit. Feel better. I start to feel a little better. I think that I don't need her anymore. I can get by, by on my own. Uh, at least I think I can. I don't know if I don't try. I headed home. 
I was nervous about what I would say when I arrive. It's though, but I know I have to do it. We need to talk. That's never good. Can't we just carry on as always? It's alright, isn't it? Nope. No. Sorry, I can't do this anymore. Eh. I don't believe you. I know you. You're useless without me. Just empty, boring, like everyone else. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I dubbed it. You're too scared. Without me around, you can't do anything. Who else is going to help you? No one. Make her leave. I don't care, you have to go. No one can help you, not as much as I can. You have to go. Part of me agreed with her, with all those things she said. Of course. I knew I couldn't let myself believe her anymore. I hope I made the right decision. She was out of my life within the month. I no longer rely on her. I've gained my independence. I'm happy now. The future feels uncertain, but I'm excited to be free. I hope the day will never come when I want to see her again. End. Das Abzeichen under pressure. Unter Druck. Okay. Und nun, ich, ich finde die Kommentare hier sehr schön, weil immer das hochgeliked wird, was das Spiel erklärt, wenn man sich genau verstanden hat. Ich wusste es damals noch nicht. Ähm, Air Pressure, Luftdruck, also keine Ahnung, so der Druck unter der allgemeinen Gesellschaft und was sowas mit einem machen kann, ist, dass man anfängt, sich zu ähm, sich zu ritzen, zum Beispiel. Self-Mutilation. Äh, Notice in en Ending 1. When the nurse says, you're lucky you didn't hit any nurse or arteries. In this ending you also become closer with her. Deeper cuts. Also das heißt, äh, in dem Ending, wo man sich auf sie einlässt, heißt es, dass man an dem Tag mal wieder sich ritzt und diesmal halt tiefer und das deshalb schon nicht so gut war, wenn man ins Krankenhaus gekommen ist und die Ärztin halt gesagt hat, dass du Glück hast, dass du keine Nerven oder Arterien getroffen hast. She also has wrapped herself around my arm and never left. Das ist das, was ich euch extra auf Deutsch am Anfang übersetzt hatte, dass sie sich um seinen Arm geklammert hat. Halt, der linke Arm, an dem er sich ritzt. If you play through the game again with the This in mind, it all starts to make sense. Oh ja, das meinte ich. Das ist sehr cool. Wenn ihr es noch nicht wisst und es jetzt am Ende wisst, dann gibt es nochmal so ein ganz anderes Gefühl. The game sends a great message about the dangers of self-mutilation and is also very well put together. Music ist auch cool. Uh, okay. Ah genau, Air Pressure. Das war wahrscheinlich das, was ich auch gelesen habe. This is only a guess, but to me Air Pressure, also Luftdruck, means the constant pressure and stress of life. Also der konstante Druck und Stress des Lebens. Like how the atmosphere imposes psys on us at all times. If one takes the game literally, a relationship is another Air Pressure we deal with. A more symbolic interpretation might be that we live so long under atmosphere We get used to the pressure, like how the protagonist had gotten used to his addiction. And it doesn't truly bother him anymore. Okay. Und gerade deshalb finde ich, dass es ein sehr, sehr cooles Spiel ist, wegen seinem philosophischen Aspekt. Und ich hoffe, euch hat das Ganze auch gefallen. Und ich hoffe, das Ending hat euch ein bisschen überrascht. Wenn ihr schon vorher drauf gekommen seid, was das Mädchen darstellen soll in unserer Beziehung, dann Daumen nach oben, weil ihr ganz schön schlaue Leute seid. Yay. Ich hatte es nicht rausgefunden, bevor ich es gelesen habe. Aber es hat mich auch glücklich gemacht, es einfach so zu lesen, damit zu denken, fuck, das ist voll richtig. Okay. Ähm, das war's dann für heute. Ich muss doch schauen, was ich ähm, morgen spielen kann. Okay, dann... Danke fürs Zusehen. 
Ich hoffe, wie gesagt, das Spiel hat euch gefallen. Ich schreibe das immer in die Beschreibung. Ähm, deshalb sage ich es einfach nochmal offen in dem Video, weil ich denke, dass nicht jeder mal Beschreibungen lesen will. Ähm, wenn ihr am liebsten, wenn wir Congregate auf dieser Seite irgendwelche Spiele in Empfehlung, Empfehlung habt, oh halt, ähm, irgendwas, was ich spielen soll, dann sagt mir das gerne. Am besten Dinge, die sich auf 100% zeigen lassen, weil ich 100% liebe. Ja. Ja, sonst, also, könnt ihr mir erzählen, was ihr gerne für Spiele spielt, ähm, wie ihr die Spiele jeweils findet, die ich vorstelle. Also zum Beispiel könnt ihr mir schreiben, wie ihr App Resident Evil fandet, nachdem ihr wisst, worum es geht. Und ja. Okay. Wunderbar. Danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.